This video was just a short explanation of something I briefly touched on in the first video, where I made sure that I converted the rendering of the song in Renoise to 44.1 kHz. Now, if like me you have a dedicated sound card, often these will work at 48 kHz and Renoise will detect this with the ASIO drivers and automatically try and render a song at 48 kilohertz. Now as well as adjusting this within Renoise, you'll also want to change the output module settings within After Effects. The reason for making these two the same is that if the audio from Renoise is at a different frequency from the output module in After Effects, or vice versa, then a conversion process has to take place as the video is being rendered. Uh, this might not sound particularly troublesome, but After Effects has to create the video and if it has to convert the audio at the same time, it can really extend the rendering process. And this is especially true in Premiere Pro as well, and I assume other video creation programs. Uh, for example, I had one video project that was initially three hours for rendering, and when I fixed this mismatch, it went down to about seven or eight minutes. And the reason we're using 44.1, as opposed to just rendering the output at 48 kilohertz, is that often you'll be uploading to something like YouTube, and that uses 44.1 anyway. And it's not just the rendering of songs in Renoise that you need to watch out for. If you're rendering a selection to sample, then the resolution that is used internally within Renoise is actually 32-bit and again 48 kilohertz will be picked up by the sound card so if you just go into the properties adjust them there then if you want to save out that sound and use it elsewhere then this will be sorted out and will now work properly and much much faster